Just a quick disclaimer, I know this is not the intended use for this product, however this company did advertise some thermal or heat reflective properties, so I'm going to test them out with the best of my capabilities. Since I'm a car camper, I tested this out by heating my car up and then timing how long it took to drop off to a certain temperature. I'm so very special. Today we're going to be finding out if adding sound dinner with a heat reflective backing helps keep your car any warmer. To do this, we'll be parking in a parking garage out of any sun or wind, maintaining a relatively consistent temperature of 34 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.5 degrees Celsius outside of the vehicle. We're going to crank up the heat inside the car to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21.1 degrees Celsius and time how long it takes to drop down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15.5 degrees Celsius. Here's the results from last year with no sound deadener or window inserts in the windows. Our 10 degree temperature drop took about an hour on average. It is currently 32 degrees outside and we're about to start our first test. We'll be timing how long it takes the temperature to drop from 70 degrees down to 60 degrees after adding 72 square feet of sound deadening material with a insulative backing. We're at 60.3 degrees. I started this test at 70.2, I believe, and we're just over one hour. I'm gonna perform this test once more so that way we can get an average between the two tests with nothing in the windows. After adding the sound editor and performing the same test that we did last year, we added an additional one to two minutes from our total temperature time drop. 60.1 degrees, that's gonna conclude this test. Our time is one hour and one minute. That's one minute over the average of our previous test from the previous year. This was to be expected as most of the heat loss is still escaping through our windows. I'm expecting to see a bigger differential in time once we add the window inserts. Let's try this experiment again with some window inserts. With the window inserts added and no sound editing material, our average delta T time was 1 hour and 22 minutes. And again, the same experiment, this time with the window inserts and the sound editing material. Just clicked over to 60.1 degrees. 59.9. Looking at 1 hour, and we're just going to flip over to 29 minutes. 138, 59.9, final countdown, 60.1 degrees, we're at 1 hour and 36 minutes. The window inserts combined with the sound editing material extended our average delta T drop by 12 minutes with an average time of 1 hour and 34 minutes. I'm going to try this experiment one more time, this time with my center divider, which is just a towel up in the sun visors. I did not perform this test last year, so I just have this year's test to base this off of. All right, I'm about to perform the final test. We got all the sound deadening material with the reflective backing, all the window inserts in. And now I have my center divider from uh, the back to the front. This keeps all the heat from escaping out the front windshield, and it's basically just a towel tucked up in the front visors. We're at 70.3 degrees, it's still 32 degrees outside, just waiting for it to hit a flat 70. We just hit 70 degrees, started the timer, let's see how long this takes. Just hit the two hour mark, this is going to be a long one. 60.1, two hours and 45 minutes, I think we're just going to be shy of three hours. 59.9 at 2 hours and 46 minutes. I'm going to go get something to eat and then I'm going to try this test one more time so we can get an average between the two. And yes, I'm going to sit in my car all day. Heat in the car one more time for one final test. Just shut the heat off. Temperature's still going up. It's going to level off at 70 degrees or a little over. I'm going to jump in the back, throw the towel across, and then wait for it to hit 70 degrees and set the timer one more time. About ready to start the final test. Just hit 70 degrees. Started the timer. Since the last round took almost three hours, I'm probably going to put this on a hyperlapse and take a nap in the back here.
at 60.4 at 1 hour and 44 minutes this round. Kind of happy and sad that it didn't last as long this time. But this is why we're doing multiple tests, so then we can configure an average. Da -da -da -dun -dun. 60.1. Two hours, two minutes. I need to use the washroom. Fifty nine point nine degrees at two hours and three minutes. This concludes the test. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. If you're wondering how long it took for the temperature to drop from 60 degrees down to 50, it doesn't. On our last camping adventure, it was roughly 36 degrees Fahrenheit outside and the car maintained a constant 54 degrees Fahrenheit on the inside. I still have a few more tricks up my sleeve to try and make the car stay warmer for longer, like actually insulating the doors and hatch, so stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching and safe travels.